This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Let's start with a controversy surrounding Common. It's a controversy totally made up by Fox News Channel and other right-wing talk show hosts. It's not a real controversy. He went to go do, uh, read some poetry at the White House. We even showed you the poetry. Of course, it was totally inoffensive. Uh, what Fox News has done is nitpick some of the things he has written at some point in his life and some of the uh, causes that he has supported. And now they're saying that's radical and has Obama inviting him to the White House is radical. And they're all radical and black together, right? And John Stewart said, all right, well, let's talk it through. And eventually they agreed on Bill O'Reilly and John Stewart on a debate. So Stewart, being the brave man that he is, went on the O'Reilly factor. And in my opinion, pulverized O'Reilly. But we'll let you judge for yourself. Here it is. Hi, right, Stuart, I'm shocked. <laughs> I am shocked that shocked? you you don't understand why people like me and millions of other Americans right. are ups upset, annoyed, and uh, looking for answers that a guy like right. Common mm -hmm. would be entertained at the White House. Now, look at the picture. It's hard not to blame us, but time forgives in the shy where the young die often. Common traveled to Cuba, mm -hmm. all right, to meet with Joanne Chesimard, mm -hmm. who was convicted mm -hmm. of killing a New Jersey State Trooper. Common said, quote, damn, this was somebody who fought for my freedom. Mm -hmm. This is a cop killer. You are saying that he is celebrating a cop killer or promoting cop killing. No, I'm not saying he's saying? promoting cop killing. Well, people on your network are. Let's just speak to me. All right, all right, I'm talking to you. Celebrating, celebrating okay. a cop killer, yes. Okay, here's the only distinction I would make there, and I can't speak for him. What I think he's doing is not celebrating, but honoring someone he thinks was wrongly convicted of cop killing. I think he believes she was convicted unjustly. Okay. So, now, again, so that's fine. And if Common wasn't even born when this crime took place, right. thinks that based on nothing because the evidence is overwhelming, okay. all right, he's entitled as American to do that. The President of the United States, though, mm -hmm. takes him into all right. the House, all right. all right, thereby thereby validating him. Come on, that was a bad decision. You're, you know you're saying, it was a you're bad saying decision. saying that by having him at the White House, that, in essence, was tacit approval of everything he's ever done. No. To some extent. It validates him. All right? it as an elevate, It elevates him as, an as, a, as a poet or whatever. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. What you're saying is, if an artist supports someone that has been convicted of killing a cop, they should not be allowed to go to the White House. No. It's, it's a little bit little. more than that. Okay. Say it again. I am saying that when a president invites someone, in this case the first lady invites someone, okay. the resume has to be put in front of them. Mm -hmm. And they have to select people mm -hmm. who are almost unimpeachable, all mm -hmm. right, because they're getting that honor to go to the White House. Right. This guy is controversial all day long with this stuff. Not only did he support this cop killer, or celebrate the cop killer, he celebrated another one in Philadelphia. Again, he's celebrating someone he thinks was unjustly. He's not celebrating. Is this Perry is. Nason we're talking about now? Is this the most brilliant lawyer of all time? Who? This Common. Oh, oh, oh Common. Well, well, let me ask you a question. On. Are you familiar with, with Leonard Peltier? Yes. Okay. Leonard Peltier was convicted of killing two all FBI All right, now agents. we're going out to Wounded Knee. It's okay. similar. Uh-huh. All right. No, it's not. You're, you're, well, why you're is petty, it not? Because you're pettifogging the issue. It's the exact same thing. It's a guy convicted of killing a law enforcement official. Now, guess who wrote a song about Leonard Peltier? Yeah. Bono. Okay. Guess where he was? The White House. Booyah! All right. That's a rap word. Did Bono... Yes. Did he actually come out and say that he was innocent? Oh, I think that's the, the crux mm, of the song. No, I think it was raising no. questions about it. And, and, and the basic now, thing... Now who's pettifogging? <laughs> now okay. I can't even Look, see you. I can't... Hear your I... pettifog. No, that is exactly the same. Okay. Bob Dylan wrote a song yeah. about a convicted killer named Hurricane Carter. He's been to the White House. Why are you drawing the line at common? There is a selective outrage machine here at Fox that petty fogs only when it suits the narrative that suits them. This guy is in the crosshairs in a way that he shouldn't be. Whether you agree with him or not over, you may think he's ignorant in believing that Asada Shakur is innocent. You may think he's ignorant in believing that Mummy is, but then guess what? Bono can't go to the White House, 
Springsteen can't go to the White House. Bob Dylan can't go to the White House. You got a lot of people that aren't allowed to sit in the White House because they've written songs about people convicted of murder. Total and utter destruction. Having watched it now a second time, I think he took out his innards and showed it to, showed it to him. He's like, how you like them apples? You like apples? Oh, come on, man. You see how calm he was and how he set up the traps? And O'Reilly knew that the traps were coming. He's like, uh-oh. Well, it's a little different. Well, how is it different? Uh, well, the one song suggests the guy was innocent. The other one, the common, went to go visit. Uh-huh. Well, wait, wait a minute. I thought you weren't, uh, Common was no Perry Mason and you're no Perry Mason and Bono's no Perry. What happened? Right? See, of course, what they're doing is that they're trying to find any reason to connect anyone. It's the old Glenn Beck trick. Six degrees of Bill Ayers, right? I'm going to connect Common to this person in Cuba and I'm going to connect that back to Obama and I'm going to call them all radical. So is George W. Bush radical working for, working with Bono, inviting him to the White House, etc. It is an awesome and indisputable point and O'Reilly was totally stumped. He said, well, on the other hand, <laughs> what now? What now? Oh, calm, laid the traps, clarified everything. He's like, oh, you know, I'll let you clarify. Go ahead, Bill. What's the difference, right? And <laughs> throw the booyah in his face. Ah, oh, John Stewart for the win. If you don't feel like reading a book and you want to listen to it, all you got to do is go to audible.com and you can download a book onto your iPod or MP3 player. In fact, just the other day I was listening to 1984, my favorite book, and they have over 75,000 titles to choose from. So you can get a free audiobook if you go to audiblepodcast.com/tyt.